What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel today. Doing a second uh, Tops unboxing in not that long of a stretch. I got this series one box, uh, for those who don't follow me on Instagram, totally should. But for those who don't, I got this series one box when I went to New York uh, to the MLB store and highly recommend going to that store if you're in New York at all. It is like a haven for MLB fans. I posted um, pictures and stuff on my Instagram at TX Rangers Fanatics. And I you know, can't really ever find baseball cards anywhere, so I had to pick up a box. It was like 15 bucks. Uh, but yeah, this one is 67 cards, and uh, with a special insert, you may only get 60 to 65, as well as you can possibly get autographs and relic cards um, and this one I don't see any large sized cards in here I actually prefer the series 2 style the, the one that I just did before this because it's separate packs instead of just one giant pack but you know it's all the same at the end of the day so get this thing ripped open and maybe I'll get an autograph or something. Still have yet to get one. But bam, off the bat, we got Vidal Brujan, David Price, which is he still on LA? I don't even know. Ooh, then third card in, Future Stars and Andrew Vaughn. Um, I like to mention this every time, but for those who haven't seen my card videos before, I make a pile of like ones that I think are cool and then just one of the rest so anything marked special like that goes in that pile julio arias jose abreu kyle Hendricks on the cubs he's always been really solid by the way i'm just going to use this as a excuse to talk about him but career 3.36 era obviously not so great in 2021 because he pitches to contact at a 1.3 whip, but his career before that was barely over one. So, you know, he he's old school like Maddox. All right, you Darvish card. I'm putting that in my, my favorite pile. <laughs> and then an outdated Martin Perez card. You know, why not add it to the former Ranger pile? Mitch Keller on the Pirates. And then a reunion between, uh, I see Vlad Jr. and I actually don't know who that is on the right. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, interesting. Doesn't answer my question. I, I don't know who that is, uh, I apologize. Someone in the comments knows, let me know, but I, I don't know who that is. At least I can't tell by that image, if I do know them. Uh, Garrett Cole. In, is that before or after the, the cheating? Uh, no, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Miguel Sano. Uh, Matt Verling. Ooh, here we go. Shohei Otani, the man who's literally on the box of Series 1. I finally get his card. I don't know if I did in the last Series 1 set. Uh, Michael Pineda. Jaron Duran on Boston. Then we got J-Ram. <laughs> Jeez, between all these sets, I got another... Mitch Hanniger card. That's insane. Uh, if you didn't see my Series 2 video, spoiler, I got two of his cards in the um, it's like Stars of MLB holographic thing. <laughs> Braymel Tapia. So I just think that's funny that I got another one. Gotta complete my, my Mitch Hanniger collection, you know? G-Man Choi in the Devil Rays jersey. Okay, actually, I think I've heard his name pronounced before. It's like Oscar, you know, uh, something like that. I apologize. But on Atlanta, 
Matt Chapman still holding it down in Oakland. I was surprised he didn't get traded, but I guess they wanted to keep some pieces. Andre Jackson on the Dodgers. I have not heard of him before. Cattell Marte, um, which, oh no, I'm thinking of David Peralta just got traded at the day I'm recording this video. James McCann on the Mets. Is he still, though? <laughs> Gavin Sheets on the White Sox. Oh, here you go. Mike Trout card. We'll put him in this pile. You know, all the all-stars. Josh Donaldson. Ugh. <laughs> Don't care what uniform he's in. Not a fan of his. For obvious reasons. Uh, you know, Rangers fans know. Connor Wong. On Boston, and here we go. We're in the stretch of all those shiny cards in the middle of that pile, so let's see what we get. First one being Freddie Freeman, stars of MLB, still in his Atlanta uniform in this card. And then a Luke Williams on the Phillies. Very cool. <laughs> That's sick. Tony Gwynn. 35th anniversary card. Let's go. I love Tony Gwynn, man. I have his autograph, too. Let's take a look. Career 338 hitter in the steroid era, mainly. That's nuts. Just absolute one-of-a-kind player. I mean, 300 stolen bases, too, by the way. Not too shabby. But yeah, well over 3,000 hits. He almost hit 400. Uh, in a season before it was shortened by a strike. You see that 394 there. It's absolute one of the best pure hitters of all time. Then a few more uh, stars of MLB cards. Ugh, Garrett Cole. <laughs> hey, here we go. Jazz Chisholm Jr. And then is this like, am I getting pranked? <laughs> Another Freddie Freeman card? That's what we just got, right? Am I, am I hallucinating? Nope, there's <laughs> two Freddie Freeman cards. Now that'd be funny if I got one of him on Atlanta and one of him in LA. But it seems like some of these are updated and some of them are not. Like in my Series 2 video, I got a Marcus Simeon card of him on Texas, but some of them are not, so I don't know. Alex Bregman, ugh. <laughs> Y'all already know, not a fan. And then the last one here of the kind of cool set is Xander Bogarts and Enrique Hernandez. So just a little bit about them being a good double play combo. These sideways cards here, Jacob deGrom. Very nice. Talked about him a little bit in my Series 2 video. And a faulty card. Uh, I guess that was 2021. <laughs> that feels like so long ago, but yeah, obviously not great with Texas. Unfortunately, I thought it was a decent signing when they did it, but he could never quite get it figured out. Mr. No Hit himself, uh, I, oops, this way, Reed Detmers. And then a batting, I feel like I got this one. A batting average leaders card. I think I got that in the last set. Yuli Gurriel, Michael Brantley, and Vlad Jr. I don't know though. Just a general team card for Atlanta. Same with uh, Nationals. With, is that Josh Bell? And I'm not sure who the other individual in that picture is couple more, handful more sideways cards, uh, Alessio Hernandez, and then Enrique Hernandez, get another one from him, Avin Smith, and Whit Merrifield on Kansas City, he had, I think he had the longest streak of, like, games played consecutively, yeah, look at this, he, he had, 
158 and then 162, 60, and 162. And then some game like last month, they benched him finally. So th he was a little bit of an Iron Man there for a while. Okay, and then we're back to the vertical cards. Anthony Discofani on the Giants. Kyle Tucker. Uh, Kwang Hyun Kim on St. Louis. Hey, here we go. The legend, Miguel Cabrera. Aaron Ashby on Milwaukee. Then another former Ranger. I'll add it to the pile because I'm compiling as many Rangers as I can get. Ian Kennedy. Uh, Willie Castro on the Tigers. Freddie Peralta on Milwaukee. Man, Kurt Suzuki. Didn't know he was still around. I said that with a lot of people in <laughs> Series 2 as well. Brian De La Cruz. And then Nelson Cruz. That's former Ranger. Sammy Long on the Giants. Jason Hayward unfortunately has not been the same I don't think since signing with Chicago Let me, there you go yeah uh, he had like a couple 2019 but he was never quite the same once he went to the Cardinals and then signed with the Cubs oops Joe Musgrove just got paid big time uh, the day before I'm recording this video, I got a $100 million extension. Henio Suarez, another prime player these days. Don't know who this is. I guess he's a catcher. Tom Murphy of Seattle. I have heard the name Brendan Rogers before. Uh, is this true? Is, is Chris Archer back with Tampa? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. So that's, for those who don't know, obviously where he started out. Hopefully future Ranger, Gregory Soto. Take a look at these numbers. Doesn't even include 2021. Um, they made him more of a closer now, I think. He kind of does a little bit of both, but he's mainly... 2021, he was a closer, so... This year he's been excellent though, like way better than the number for 2021. And lastly, we got Mike Brousseau on Tampa. So, so I, I like the other, the series two better because they, they were like 14 cards a pack or something. Gives you a little bit of a breakup between it. But to go through the cards that I call cool, a couple former Rangers, Miguel Cabrera, a lot of sideways cards that I'm not gonna go through because I like just keep those separate because they're sideways. Then Alex Bregman, stars of MLB. Garrett Cole, stars of MLB. Two Freddie Freeman, stars of MLB. Jazz Chisholm Jr. An insanely cool Tony Gwynn card. This kind of parallel. Whoa. Okay, that answers my question. 308 of 2022. Guess it would help if I look at the pack. Um, there's the second Freddie Freeman one. Then you got Mike Trout, uh, J Ram, Shohei freaking Otani. This like Blue Jays Vladdy one that I unfortunately still don't know. Is that supposed to be Wander? Did I just did I just put that together? Martin Perez not on Texas. You Darvish not on Texas, but that's not outdated. And then a future star in Andrew Vaughn. I'm actually going to put all the future stars ones together. But yeah, two Freddie Freeman ones. What are the odds? I'll put you here and you, you, and then the rest of y'all like that. Okay. But that's it for this one. Roughly 67 cards. There weren't any thick ones. So I think it's 67 and those are all the cards I have. <laughs> Open the Series 2 box. Open this one. If y'all want me to buy more, let me know. 
I need these videos to get like a million views so I can afford it. <laughs> but no, just joking. Um, yeah, a lot of them aren't that expensive. It's just a matter of finding them because unfortunately, as a lot of y'all know, people will buy these and just sell every single card in it. They're just buying the boxes just to make money. So I like to collect. I have a big uh, binder of cards that maybe one day I can go through. And this will be adding about 160 something more cards to it. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching y'all and talk to y'all later.